so there are things that we, we just need to be doing, for example, you know, setting up uh, wallets and um, asking for grants and so on. Like, and these are things that, you know, they're not simple or for me, it's really a lot of work. Uh, for others, it might be really come um, because it's structured, uh, come uh, really easy. But these things need to be done. So we have these type of things. And then we have, of course, what I, I think everyone agrees, what makes uh, Omega an interesting place and, and a safe place to be is exactly that we want to hold this exploratory spa uh, space. And in there, you know, playing <laughs> this ball passing and, you know, we have mentioned it's this improvisation is happening. And we could also add it to our tool list if you want, and that we have those sessions as well. But I feel right now also we need to find the balance. Well, why? <laughs> because we could get funds for the work yeah. that we're doing, and some of the participants um, are, you know, could could benefit from those funds. M many or some of us, you know, are really here for intrinsic uh, motivation and have the luxury, or you know, okay. somehow manage it to have multiple lives and and manage their I funds. Think. So this is the challenge where I feel like I need to find balance, or also ask how we can get there. I believe for that we should have even more freestyle or more um, this type of session to see what is in this new potential energy. So I'm, I'm super curious. And and maybe we need to branch branch off or branch or have, uh, you know, not just wait for this Wednesday session, but really um, start jam sessions or I don't know how, how you want to how we want to call them but definitely enable yeah that's maybe uh, infinite that's game kind of... sessions mm -hmm. so like if we're if we're noticing like I, I kinda wanna like okay uh -huh. so this is uh something <laughs> some things are like a big ends idea has like a gravity to it and it's like orbits mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. you gotta find and seek when our orbits go together just be aware of that i think it will emerge but also too when we find that maybe we write notes to ourselves, and then we, we say hey i think this might be a good flow does this uh gel with your thoughts on it yeah. and then okay maybe we, maybe we present this as like a general principle of the group yeah, <laughs> So I think it won't be general. That that that's my that's my take because we have very very many different styles, <laughs> and there there is a huge. I I, I believe there's like uh, I think also the most active uh, people here uh, will definitely continue gravitating towards that. But I also feel like um, you know. Perfect. So, and, and you know, these are things uh, we can uh, again change, improve. But for example, one option would be um, to just take the lead and shape uh, the next uh, Wednesday session, for example. Uh, so, shaping the agenda and then just leading a Wednesday session is always. A way to you know let people uh, in, invite people to to a play. You have to prepare, right? Right now there is an influx of very uh, fluent uh, researchers. I, I want to say who want to explore these different working styles, and I'm also drawn to that, for example. So it would be great, um, you know, if we. Cool, cool. Um, okay. Regarding that, I'm, I'm also working on, on consilience. 
So, so definitely recommend everyone to, to read up on, on that as well. I think it, it resonates a lot, especially also, as you say, it's exactly where we're at, right? I mean, Satori, for example, um, the thing that you started today saying, you know, emergent, it, it goes more into the field of emergent learning. And I think we're all game. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you had uh, any pointers uh, to what you proposed, you know, um, this free flow or play session, it is both in, in nurturing networks and emergent learning, right? And, you know, I was, I just, because it's just how I am, I'm reflecting on myself, right? And uh, when you said more system uh, dancers and system thinkers, I was like, I like that. But then how how my uh, own internal infinite game that I play with myself, it's like, <laughs> hey, I think I could be a system thinker too. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's yeah. a challenge. That. <laughs> yeah, but, but the, the thing is, I believe, and I think, um, you know, always, trying to actually um, get out of your comfort zone and token engineering is about engineering, right? Token engineering is about getting things to a specification so that it then can be engineered and put into software and run on a, you know, a world computer, if you will. So that's the technical part. And that requires live information from living networks. So we need to, in order to make that connect between, uh, as, as we see like the humanities and the engineering heavy side, we do need people who are comfortable not being comfortable. Where you think building capacity, you know, coming from yourself, where, and if you have seen, you know, what are, what is all, all the areas where do we need to go and, um, what I don't know yet, but I'd be interested in going uh, there. If you could add some notes there, that will be also helpful. I just want to add that uh, Nick isn't here, but you know, you, you've known her and definitely she's uh, uh, sending out very strong signals that she really cares for that. <laughs> the, the um, you know, building capacity in a sense, really getting into what it entails to be a token engineer, what let, they call it hard skills and soft skills uh, uh, in the olden world. <laughs> um, but that type of um, yeah, capacity building, I think uh, also will ease the pain point that we discovered that there is just, you know, if skills are missing, we have frustration and so on. And the other thing, taking action, right? One person might need a concrete action plan to take a action. The other person might just need an impulse and then they flow. <laughs> so again, um, very different styles there. And it would be wonderful if we can figure out, you know, how we say number one, Token engineering ethical principle is how learn how to host multiple worldviews. I think this is you know one instance of it. How do we work together with our very different working styles and this compassionate system? Ah. And I think that's exactly what is it that we're, we're talking about, you know, the, the, the ones are systems thinkers, the other ones are systems dancers, but drop those labels. <laughs> we just really want to figure out um, how to make systems that don't break people and nature and uh, don't break themselves easily either. So.